Hey guys, it's Jimmy Jones with EXP Realty. It's been a great week, uh, very busy, so I haven't been able to shoot my video uh, in my studio at home. So today uh, we're gonna be shooting in, in my car. I hope you enjoy today's information. So today's video, we're gonna talk about uh, how to prep your house if you're a home seller and you're getting ready to list it on the market. Uh, I hope this information is helpful to you. Before I get into that though, if you guys don't mind, hit that subscribe button uh, on YouTube or give me a thumbs up or give me a like on Facebook or Instagram. I would definitely appreciate your support. And also, if you have any other topics that you want me to cover in future videos, uh, just message me down below and I'll be happy to incorporate those in future uh, learning videos. So today, um, staging for home sellers, uh, general prep suggestions. So declutter, you've heard declutter, you've heard depersonalize. Um, and so what does that mean? Declutter, in my opinion, is to pack or uh, remove items that are not gonna be needed in the next 30 to 60 days. Um, you know, especially clothes that you're not gonna be wearing if it's off season. So if it's the summer or spring, pack that winter stuff. Uh, you're either gonna have to pack it now or later, so might as well get to it now. Um, and then also clear countertops and tabletops. So in the kitchens and in the bathrooms, you know, clear off everything that's on the countertops, even if it's stuff that you use on a daily basis, like toothbrushes or uh, uh, hair dryers or, um, you know, maybe even coffee pots in the kitchen. Store that stuff out of sight. Uh, again, you're trying to create the illusion of space. This house has lots of space in it. Um, depersonalize, pack or, or remove items that are personalized, so personal pictures, uh, any personal awards. Um, finger paintings, uh, sports and religious memorabilia, uh, those items, basically you're trying to trying to help buyers visualize them in your house. And so you wanna create a more neutral space so that they can picture themselves and their stuff in your house. So they'll make an offer on your house. Cleaning, you wanna conduct a deep, thorough cleaning of your house, which is standard protocol when you're listing your house on the market. Uh, what does that look like? You want to clean uh, everything. So carpet, tile, grout, window seals, mirrors, ceiling fans, um, um, windows inside and out, bathrooms. Basically your home should sparkle. And then last, paint touch-ups. Uh, if there's a stain or a scrape or something like that on the ceiling or, or on walls, uh, take a wet rag, see if you can clear it off. And if that doesn't work, then you might need to uh, do a paint match. Uh, it, there should be no variation. If I can tell where you've touched up the paint, then you need to paint the whole wall. And if necessary, the whole room and that same goes for ceilings. So hope this information has been helpful. If you guys have additional questions about today's topic or anything else real estate related, uh, message me down below and I'll get to you today. Um, if you guys like today's video, give me a thumbs up or subscribe to follow me. And if you're thinking about buying or selling a house in the near future, I'd love to be your realtor. Again, it's Jimmy Jones with eXp Realty. Have a wonderful day.